are doing the family room kitchen reveal. I am so excited for this video. It has been a long time in the making. You guys have been asking for it though, so I'm delivering. I'm really excited. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe below and let's roll for it. best pal since July is when we kind of started this whole project. Um, so where can they find you first of all? You can find me at Tana Hallows on Instagram. On Instagram. Um, her feed's amazing. So basically how it kind of happened was I had so many struggles with this space when we moved into our house. We had these crazy shelves next to the fireplace which wasn't really the prettiest of fireplaces and the shelves were overwhelming because every time I tried to decorate them they just looked cluttery. Um, there wasn't a lot of light in here, which is funny because there's all these windows, but we're just not facing the right direction. So I felt like everything was really dark and then we had this cabinet back here in the kitchen and it just wasn't functioning either. So that's when I reached out to Tana because I've never dealt with a contractor before and I had tried on my own to find someone to come do this space and it's so hard. So that's when I reached out to her, to you. Yep. And we found Steve. Yeah, we found Steve who's so great. He's a gem of a human. If you live in Utah County, I'll hook you up with him. But So what we did was we yeah. fixed all of the issues that she was having and brought in more light. We put some windows next to the fireplace. It was the first thing that so we did. Good. So we pulled out all the shelving so we didn't have the stress of the shelves for... And then right here to the side of me, it was kind of a dead space and there was just all these windows and then nothing. And so we, wanted, we brought it a little bit more functional by adding a window seat. Then it's we brightened up the my space favorite spot in the whole house. With paint. Yeah. White paint. The easiest thing. Well, and one up. thing too is I had just purchased some furniture and when we did the window seat, both Tana and I were like, oh, this furniture doesn't work anymore because I had a leather couch right in front of the window seat. And so I'm reusing those pieces in other places of the house, but that's when she told me about interior define and this couch and how perfect it is for the space because it just keeps things open, but you can also see that window seat, which is one of my favorite spots. So these are some of the design boards we were working with and I sent Tana a bunch and she would change things and send them back and we just kind of had this back and forth. Switched a couple of these things around once we saw that the this was too heavy here and we needed to switch the lamps over so but here's a picture of the ending of the art and kind of some of the things that we finished with. We had three art areas. I love the way this one turned out. That was my favorite, that's my favorite. So it was so fun to see this kind of come to life because we'd been playing with it on paper for so long and then when things started showing up in the mail, I was like, yes, it's more perfect than I envisioned. But when all the pillows and stuff came, I didn't know where she'd wanted to put them and I am super symmetrical, which is why I love Tana's work because she isn't super symmetrical with, she just kind of puts things where they feel good. I think I think too hard about it. So I really love kind of how those pillows on paper, they're just kind of like, do they work? I don't know. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. So, so one of the reasons why I actually chose Tana is because she's the, one of the creative directors over at Destination Nursery and comes up with the cutest kids' faces. And that was something that I really wanted in our family room because it's all nice and pretty, but hello, I have kids, so I wanted a little kids' corner, and this is kind of where Tana came through for me. Yeah, we wanted to incorporate something fun that's family friendly, and so we added this little corner where they can play, do art. So let's show them where everything is from. Okay. We're gonna start off with the Be Kind banner. Where is that from? Paper Arrow Studio, and then we actually got these off of Amazon. And then the table and chairs are from Land of Nod, and these are cute little blah blah dolls. 
and I'm obsessed with. This table actually has a little roll of paper that you can attach to it so the kids can draw on it, which is really fun. And then over here, we have our lamp from Lamps Plus. And then we have two family pictures from Framebridge. This pretty little bowl is from World Market. And then Tana, where are these from? Lifestyle Co. These are from Lifestyle Co. They make like the cutest little decor piece for on top of books and stuff. And then this is from a little garden center in Orem called Sun Over Gardens. And then this is from Minted and the Blinds are from Select Blinds, and I actually really, really love these. They're like a woven shade, but they're really soft, so they have a really pretty drape to them. And I actually did the Windward Island shade, but there's a privacy liner in the back. So there's a privacy liner so that the sun doesn't kind of bleed through them, and it makes them look a little bit more kind of luxe. They're so pretty, they're cordless. And then these lights are from Lamps Plus, same with that. This little family proclamation is from Latter Day Home, Sun River Gardens. This is the Magnolia collection from Target. And then we have two minted pieces right there. Oops, the vintage from Kobo Goods. Kobo Goods. And then, oh, these cute little knobs are from CB2. And then we have some baskets over here. So these are both from World Market. And then let me show you the blanket. So this blanket is from Harlow Henry. Just a really pretty textured blanket. Where's this one from, Tana? Same place. Same place. This one is from the Daniel Oki shop. I love this blanket so much. There's little tassels on it. And then this is from Latter-day Latter -day Home. Yeah, and it, what does it say on it? Be still. Be still on the other side, it says be still. And then these are the cutest little play ball pillows. Liam. Look how cute they are though. They're just these little balls. Okay, so for the pillows, we have Studio McGee. Daniel Oki, Studio McGee, Daniel Oki, Malia Moo, Studio McGee. Whew. And then this we got off of Etsy from the cutest little shop, Home of Wool, and everything is 100% wool. The inside stuffing is, anyway, it's the cutest little shop on Etsy if you wanna check that out. So all the renovations, we had the windows put in, and then the shiplap done, we had the mantle added and all of that, and then the base even too. And we've got some really, really pretty like marble right here. So this was a work of love. <laughs> so Steve, I can't remember his business name right now, but I will link him up if you guys are in Orm and need some stuff done. And then he also framed out this space right here. They framed out the windows, added the vertical shiplap, which was your idea, genius. Okay, onto the couch. This couch is from Interior Define. This is probably one of the most frequently asked questions I get. It's the most amazing couch. Yes, it's comfortable. Brian at first didn't like it because it's a lot shorter than typical couches, but we've gotten used to it and the kids love it. So that's a Studio McGee pillow. This is Studio McGee, Daniel Oki, and then Malaya Moo. And this cute little textured quilt, chunky throw. Yeah, where is this Sarah from? Lou. Sarah Lou. Sarah Luco, it's so soft. Just adds really good texture. And then those are both Studio Mickey pillows. And then right here, I got this on House. That basket under there is from Studio Mickey. And then this is from House, same bookstore. What was the bookstore, Chronicle Books? Kovo Goods. Kovo Goods. And then, Kate, what is this? Tell everybody what this is. It's, it's an, an actual puzzle. Brian had to put it together today because the baby's- it's from Project Genius. Project and Genius. this part comes out and then you can slowly take the pieces apart and yeah. it's like a puzzle. Um, where is this from? I can't remember. Sun River Gardens. Sun River Gardens, that's right. And then these are from House, and these are from the same book place, Sun River Gardens. And then these chairs are from West Elm. This is another one of my kids' most favorite things in the whole house because they spin on them around and round. Um, and both of the pillows are from Daniel Oki Shop. So there's kind of that space. We've got Target, the same as over there, Lifestyle Co. And then this was also from Sun River Gardens. Okay, so explain okay. the art on this one. This is a picture of Christ, of Christ. by Jimmy Fowler Art, and it's framed through Framebridge. Awesome. And then we have the tree. This is my fiddle fig tree that I'm growing and loving and nurturing. It is from Sun River Gardens. These are from West Elm, same with that. And then select blinds again. So it took me about 10 different rugs to find one that I'm obsessed with. This is from West Elm. It's really cool because it has some light pink 
colors over there. And then these are from a shop, I can't remember where I found them, I'll link them up below. Took me several tries to get a good chair too, but these were pretty inexpensive compared to the other ones. So this cabinet was also West Elm. And then, let's see, these are also West Elm. This is another question that I get asked a lot. And so we got these at different times. So these ones are new because we just got rid of the baby high chairs. And these ones are older. So they just kind of age nicely and spills wipe up. And I don't know, they look really nice. So they're definitely worth the money. This is from Letter Vogue. A balanced diet is a cupcake in each hand. And then over here we have a snake plant, Sun River Gardens. We've got some more little succulents, Sun River Gardens. Over here, this stuff is all Sun River Gardens. So just a little thing full of spoons, and I loved that picture, so I told Dana we had to have it. So this bigger one is from ETU Home. You can find them on Instagram. And then this one, and this one over here is from Studio Mickey. Sun River Gardens. Sun River Gardens. ETU Home. ETU Home, look how cute that is. And yes, I did make pancakes this morning. <laughs> That's a cute just little cover. Right here we have a dresser from West Elm. This is from Sun River Gardens. This is from House. Okay, so right here, the picture of the Salt Lake Temple is from Latter Day Home. These two are from Framebridge, and these two are from Minted. So I've got a little collage going on here, and then this lamp is from Lamps Plus. And then my kids are from me. <laughs> that is both from Sun River Gardens. And then over here we have my favorite bench in the whole world. It's from Article, it's velvet, it's amazing and luxe and you need it in your life. We're probably gonna add some hook, a hook here and then a row of hooks here, but they haven't come yet. So that is Target, they have one at West Elm too. The throw is Harlow Henry and then this is Studio McGee. I love this pillow. And this one is from Daniel Oki, so it's like a blush pink. And then all of the rugs, all of the jute rugs are from Pottery Barn. We actually just got it cleaned and it looks really, really good. It sheds like crazy for the first six months. Now it's just, it's great and it's amazing and we actually really love it. These blocks are from Amazon, by the way. Go do it right there. Yeah! <gasps> Look at it, Daddy! <laughs> this table is from Pottery Barn. It is one of my biggest obsessions. It actually has breadboards, so this pulls out and you can extend it like another foot on both sides. It's the perfect color. It's substantial on the base, which I really, really love. This little renovation came to life because the cabinet was so not functional. You would open the doors and they would come out into the hall and so you would lose kind of your walking space. So we ripped it out and we put in these doors. Kids play with that all the time. There's probably food inside of it. Um, we have a lot of our baking stuff in here. And then we've got a whole bunch of messes here and this is all of my pantry stuff. I wasn't actually planning on sharing anything in here because it's halfway organized, but. So this is the space in here and we can leave these doors open because there's so much natural light in here that's amazing. Or if it's super messy, we can close them and we still get some natural light through there, but mostly through that transom window. Here you go, one, two, three, off. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked what we ended up doing with the space. And then let me know in the comments what room you'd like to see next. I think we're gonna work on my master bedroom. So, lots of fun things. Make sure to subscribe below so that you don't miss any future videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!